Hi guys, looking through my stock, found this. I must have bought it in a charity shop at some time. I've probably done a video on it already. Kid Galaxy 2004, 40 megahertz. I did just give it a little try with this 40 megahertz transmitter, and it does remind me that I think. I have done a video on this before because it goes forwards it's one of those regardless of what you do left forwards right forwards backwards forwards forwards nothing I've had ones like this before and I think I have got a transmitter that does work tucked away somewhere that does actually match up with these but I'm going to take it apart anyway I might swap out the track the receiver for one of these other ones or I might do something silly with it we'll have a look first question is how do we get it apart yeah there's a screw right up in there oh I did notice it's all soft rubber so it's obviously aimed at the younger generation. Oh, the wheels unscrew. Well, that's handy. Right. How much do we need to take apart to get it apart? I think we've got to take it all apart. Oh, the other thing. Um, it's got no steering. I'm pretty sure it's one of those ones that does skid steer, you know, that way it'll go one way, that way it goes the other way, well that's handy, we didn't need to take it all apart, don't know what that spring's for, Doesn't appear to be a switch in there or anything. Oh, that might be the aerial. <laughs> yeah, that's the aerial. Okay. So, uh, have we got two motors? We've got one motor. This will be one of those ones where, yeah, forward, both wheels turn the same way. When you reverse the motor, the gearing makes one go one way and one go the other way. Yeah, I've seen these before. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. If we actually had a controller that matched, we'd be able to demonstrate. As it is, we can probably get in there and have a little route around. We could we could make it hobby grade. We could put an ESC on there, and uh, nothing else. Forwards, backwards, and that should actually make it run. That might be fun to do, just for no good reason whatsoever, other than to see it working like that. Is that going to come? Oh no, there's another screw there. There we go. So we've got a little receiver in there. Battery box underneath. Gearbox comes away in one piece. I don't know if we can see that little gear there, which appears to be broken actually. That's the idler gear that makes the difference between it going forwards and backwards, I think. Right, zoomed in, we can see that little gear there. The 
that slops around, goes forwards and backwards. When the motor's driving forwards, it's engaging. If we could make it go backwards, which we can't at the moment, I'll have to rig up a little um, battery or something so we can make it go forwards or backwards. But you can see if I if I actually turn this, it goes out of alignment. Can I get that apart easily so we can see it clearer? I can get the motor off, that's easy enough. A couple of screws out. Yeah, let's do it. Try and remember to keep it where you can see it on the camera. Right, this bit here I would guess is probably a sort of a clutch mechanism because it's spring loaded. So that you can turn it by hand. Let's have a look. Got a lot of gears in here. Can we get it all the way apart? Not easily. Oh, that's going to be a pain. That one doesn't want to come off. And those are on splines. They'll be... Yeah, um, should we go for it? I've just got this horrible feeling we won't be able to get it back together if we pull it apart. That one has fallen out. Yeah, it's a rather complicated gearbox that I can't get apart without yeah. can't get apart without pulling these off the splines. Pulling these off the splines. Can I get that one back in that's just dropped out? Gonna have to lift it up again. Yeah, that's a bit disappointing that I would like to take it apart and show you, but that's not going to come off of there anytime soon. I'll put the screws back in there for now. Right, for no particularly good reason other than because I can, we're going to make this hobby grade receiver. So. Stick a JST connector on it. Just shorten those down a little bit. They're a little bit generous. Doesn't matter which way I connect it, it will always be wrong. Okay, so JST connector on there. It's going to go in there one way or the other. So push them out of the way for now. So that, oh, that goes in the other way around. That's a bit tight on the wires.
yeah, that definitely goes in there like that. Just to keep this really simple. That's going to go on there. There's a bit of a gap. There's a hole we can poke up through there. Right then, so, receiver, ESC, motor on the wire, battery, transmitter. Channel 2, power on, put that in there. Lift it up. So I think we can see if you watch the wheels forwards both go together, reverse, opposite direction. That's that fancy gearbox that we couldn't get apart without breaking it. So We'll stick all that together and we'll just run it around on the floor to demonstrate it working. So here we go, instant hobby grade conversion just by adding a single ESC. Forwards, reverse gives us the turn. Forwards, reverse. Forwards. Oh, I didn't get that cover back on, did I? Hmm. Never mind. Yeah, we have no reverse as such. When we do reverse, it goes forwards and turns. So reverse. So quick demonstration, forwards, it goes forwards, reverse, and it actually still goes forwards, but the right hand wheel is going in reverse, so it turns. Forwards, turn. Yeah, sorry I couldn't get the gearbox apart, but because it actually works, I didn't want to destroy it. Because I think that will be a handy little base for putting odds and ends on that I actually want to motorise. Yeah, that'll do. So... There we go, a <laughs> hobby grade conversion of whatever it was called. Yeah, very simple. I've just put the cover back on so we can see it.
Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. Thanks for watching. You'll find more information down in the video description. You might like to watch that video up there. And you might like to subscribe over there.